At the end of last season, they were separated from each other, but it looks as if they're getting together again. Can we talk about last night? It's just I woke up and you were gone. I couldn't sleep. And Sal? I get why I get why you did it. It's just I thought we agreed that there was another way. So that's why you're following me. No, I don't want to arrest you. I want to protect you. Whatever Mirfield did to you, I want to help undo. Woof. Joining us from the CW's Beauty and the Beast, we have actor Jay Ryan. Thank you so much for waking up. Pleasure. Joining us this morning. You know, the first season, it seemed as though your character and Kristen Kruk's character, they got together so quickly. Right. Where did you go from there? Tell well, I think we felt in season one that these two characters are distant. Everyone knows that. So we put them together very quickly to the fans' liking, I think. And in season two, we want them to sort of have to navigate on their own terms before we bring them back together. Mm -hmm. So they can find out really who they are apart mm -hmm. um, and also give the, the audience a little more insight to our characters without each other. Interesting, interesting. Now, you, of course, you are the beast. You are the beast. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, I mean, how much makeup has to go into playing the beast when it gets, you know, when you get all beastly? A lot. I'm in the makeup chair more than Kristen Crook, which is unfortunate. Ah. But, uh, <laughs> you know, as the beast last oh. season, right, this is the new beast, the new 2.0 beast. Uh, last season, the makeup was very different, and we redesigned it for, for season two because uh, the backstory, Vincent's rewired essentially by his new makers. So um, that takes maybe two hours in makeup, and then yeah. half an hour in hair, and then the contacts and the teeth, and then there's constant touches all day. Of course, of course. And it's not at all annoying, no? Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> or claustrophobic. It's quite enjoyable, actually. Hey, I have a question for you. You know, all morning long we've been talking about this Fifty Shades of Grey thing, and, and then the star of it uh, is, is the star. He's gone. So now they're looking for a lead for Fifty Shades. I mean, if you get a call, are you going to answer My phone it? is on. <laughs> I'm, I'm waiting. <laughs> you want him for the call? <laughs> Hollywood's online, too. Just waiting. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I heard he, I heard he dropped out, but um, good on him. Well, <laughs> we heard that you like to play tricks on people when you're all made up. Is this true? Are you it a jokester? True. I am. When I put on the beast makeup, I, I have this, uh, this alter ego that comes out, and oh. he's... Uh, <laughs> He's kind of annoying, and he's a bit of a joker. So um, I like to scare people, too. We, sh we shoot on a lot of locations a lot of times at night. So I'll just sort of scream out of the, uh, the car as we're moving by to the next location, just at random public people. Mm -hmm. Very nice. This summer, you became a first-time dad. I did, yeah. I hope you're not a practical joker with your, with your baby girl. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. She's, she's still a little fragile. She's only uh, five months old. So, oh, congratulations. Uh, thank you. How has it changed your, your life, fatherhood? Uh, it's amazing. You know, I really want to get home from work as soon as possible now to yeah. see my little girl. Um, the sleep thing, I'm still getting used to, mm. the lack of it. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's fantastic. Uh, congratulations. Thank congratulations. You. I want to ask you very quickly for folks who have never seen the show before. I mean, you know, what? obviously we all know the story of Beauty and the Beast, but I know this show has a kind of a, a cool feel to it, a different angle. Yeah, ours is kind of like a, a romantic thriller in a way. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of uh, action, high stakes. Um, and, you know, at, at the essence of it is the same Beauty and the Beast that we all know and love about these two destined characters. But no uh, singing candlesticks. <laughs> no singing candlesticks, not this okay. season, no. All right, not this season. Maybe next season. Maybe next season. season. Yeah, Maybe next season. Uh, there's always, all right. <laughs> we all might right. have a role for both of you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, thanks so much for stopping by. Thanks, Jay guys. Ryan, Cheers. thank you so much. Good thank luck you. with absolutely everything. And wait for that phone call. 9-8 Central on the CW, yeah. tonight. Exactly, tonight, <laughs> 9 o'clock, Mix 11.